Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, there's all, you know, a um, one of those um, hard to break habits and and way of thinking on computers. And there's a lot of them, um, you know, from I always say it from the antivirus, which does not really protect you. It's a false sense of security. The protection comes from elsewhere, but people. You know, tend to think that the antivirus is the number one security. All re security researchers will all tell you the antivirus is far in the list of what's important to keep your computer safe. Uh, the two best are you and, of course, updates in the software. But one of them that I saw today again, and, you know, I see it from time to time, um, we talk about the time of Windows installs and the updates. And when you go to an update in Windows, of course, there's a certain amount of time that it takes to install, but it comes in phases. There's a first part of the install, which is the download phase, first of all. So the download will actually bring the update into your computer. The second phase is it installs or prepares a install of the update to be ready for the actual install phase. So when you see it's installing in this place here, when you're in checking for updates and it says installing something, a lot of people are in the impression that you got to stop using the PC. I got to let it do what it has to do for the update. This phase of install here, you do not have to stop using your PC. You can use your PC. You can do work. You can use the software that you have. Whatever you're doing, it's fine. There's no need to stop using the PC. This phase is not even meant for you to be technically seen. It's supposed to be a background task. Now, you might see it because you might manually check for updates. And that, of course, makes those appear in your face. But honestly, that phase, you can actually close the settings app go and surf the web, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The only thing that I might not do while an update is happening is install software. You know, uninstalling or installing new software, stuff like that. But for the rest, using your PC like you use it every day for tasks, for the internet, for watching videos, you can do that. Leave the PC work in the background and do that. The only phase that you should count when you count how long an update takes is when your computer is asking you to restart for the update. That is the time of the real install of a update. Because that is the time when it actually happens, when the magic is done. Which, of course, is that period of time you can't use your PC. So if you've been not touching your PC for five hours because the install phase that is in the Windows update uh, here is doing something, you are um, you're you're wrong. You have you use your PC. Don't let that prevent you from using it. It it won't matter. It won't interfere with it. That is the part where. Windows installs all the files, extracts all the things that it needs to be ready for the real install phase. You know, maybe the wording that Microsoft uses should be changed. This part should be called preparing updates rather than install. Because install in your head means, oh, it's, it's installing it. It's not actually installing it. It's preparing the update install. The real install goes on when the computer restarts. That little moment there that can take anywhere from a couple of minutes, like on this machine, it took, I don't think it took more than two, three minutes, uh, to, in some cases, maybe 15, 30, 45 minutes, an hour. That, for an old PC, is possible. That is the phase of the real install of an update. And then you restart, and then you're back in Windows. So don't prevent yourself from using your PC when it's doing the first phase. You won't interfere with anything. Um, and you're waiting for nothing. 
I mean, your PC is there. If you need it, use it. Then there'll be the phase where it restarts, where really now you can't do anything. You got to wait for the restart to happen. And that is where you should calculate how much time your, your, your PC took to, uh, to install an update. So to give you an idea on my older uh, mini PC, which is a um, Core i5 that is not compatible with Windows 11, uh, it does have an SSD. I don't think it took more than, you know, the, the real restart install phase. It took maybe three or four minutes. On this machine, it took maybe less than three minutes. Um, on some older machines, like my Toshiba with a magnetic hard drive, that restart phase with the install typically takes more than, I'd say, closer to half an hour, maybe, on an update like this. So, um, you know, I think people need to understand that the phase, the first phase of install um, is meant to be really in the background. Uh, typically, if you wouldn't click Windows Update and it do it on its own, you would not even notice that it's doing it. Um, or, you know, you'll notice it on an older machine because, of course, on old machines, um, that install process in the background might slow down your PC and then you'll notice that it's slower than usual. Um, but I'm on a modern PC, it doesn't show. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.